guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with my contouring and highlighting routine. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Like I said, it's my own. That's the way I do it and I find that works best for me. So if you're interested in knowing how I contour and highlight, you can keep on watching. And as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will leave the link down below and that is just Merleth M. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you on my next tutorial very soon. Bye! I decided to try out the Nivea Men uh, Aftershave Cream recommended by Nikki Tutorials and it really does work. It is really amazing. Next I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and then I'm just going to dab that all over the face. Well more specifically on the T-zone area which is the area that it gets more oily. Next I am taking Max Concealer and this is in this shade NW25 and I'm just going to go and dab onto the blemishes that I have on my face. It is probably not the best time to film this video because I have so many zits and stuff on my face which is disgusting but anyways I still decided to do it I'm also going to apply that underneath my eyes and this is going to hide the dark circles basically it's going to neutralize them first now I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend the concealer out first and then I'm going to apply my foundation in the areas that I did not apply any concealer I'm literally gonna go ever so lightly on the foundation I just want a tiny little bit of color correction that is why I'm applying a tiny bit of foundation which is not usual for me but I am going to be using a lot of concealers I am using uh, the yellow concealer by LA Girl and I'm also using Toffee which is a darker shade. I'm taking yellow and I'm going to kind of highlight with that. I'm going to draw an upside down triangle underneath my eyes and this is going to serve as a highlight and it's also going to conceal my dark circles. And then on top of that I am taking Creamy Beige which is also by LA Girl and I'm going to apply it on top of yellow and this is going to make it less yellow. I do like my yellow undertone but not completely yellow all the way. And I'm also going to apply um, Creamy Beige on the forehead and I'm going to dab it along the nose bridge and I'm also going to apply that on the cupid's bow and on the chin and also on the jawline. Sort of my regular highlighting routine with a little bit of extra. I'm also going to make sure to highlight my smile lines because um, you know you want to have highlighted smile if you know what I mean. Now that we look all crazy, I'm going to take Toffee, which is a, a lot darker shade, and I'm going to start contouring with that. I'm going to apply that on the hollows of my cheeks, along my jawline, just so it's very defined and super sharp. I'm also going to apply that on the sides of my forehead, on my forehead and on the sides of my face, and of course, I will always contour my nose, so I will draw parallel lines on the sides of my nose. Now I'm also going to draw like a mini semicircle on the cheekbones just to make my cheekbones a little bit more prominent and I am taking my naked skin concealer and I'm going to apply a tiny bit of this right underneath the eyes just for a little extra pop of highlight. And now that I have tons of products on, I'm going to go ahead and quickly blend and I'm going to make sure to really buff everything out. And then with another side of the beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend the contouring. I do want to say that I wish that I didn't wait so long to blend um, the darker shades because the toffee concealer was very dry so it made it a lot harder to blend out. So that is why I'm actually taking a very long time blending but also naturally you do take a long time still. This all requires patience and um, it is a lot of product and I don't do this every day but um, I do usually do a light contouring but not all the way like I am doing now.
Now again with the Naked Concealer, I'm literally wiping off all of the products and whatever is left over on the brush. I'm going to sharpen that contour area and then I want to draw that circle again because I want my cheekbones to be very prominent and I'm also going to highlight a little bit on the nose bridge and on the chin. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and blend it all out and as you guys can see, it really just sharpens all of the contour out and it gives your face structure a more defined look and it also makes you look very bronzed and very skinny. <laughs> now with my shade in light Kat Von D palette I'm going to take the yellow shade in the middle and I'm going to apply that yellow powder all over the areas that I applied my concealer so literally the exact same areas. And then with my favorite fluffy brush at the moment, I'm going to take the darker shade in the middle and I'm just going to literally apply this product on the exact same areas that I applied my toffee concealer. And all I'm doing here is applying powder on top of a cream because I want this to last me all day. So I am setting it in place. And as you can see me here, I'm kind of blending the uh, contour out a little bit because it was a tiny bit sharp for me. So that is why I'm switching brushes and making sure that everything's nicely blended. And of course, I'm doing my nose contouring. 